හරි ලස්සන අයනේ අ පියුමක උදාන්කෝ පියුමක හරි හිමාෂා डिनर मेतनुली डिनर मेतनुली दुआ के नाम मुकाद हाँ वाइट फाना क्लॉक हरी ये इलाट हिमाश हाँ तीनों के क्लास से ना ही हरी हिमाश मिनुती मम द
It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Ah, uh, Harila, it's nine. Shock. It's nine o'clock. Very good. Very good. Ko dinara metnuli. Very good. Choi. Ali Mohandas. Inara, it's ten o'clock. 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 Shoy, your name is Babala Harima Shoy. It's ten o'clock. Hari ne DJ. Hari at Mahari. It's ten o'clock. Ilan, it's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. Balamo make a Hadanik out the Kila. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. At the end of the hair, or no, so hard to tell you, pen under how to take a pen down at the lamb. Very good. It's twelve o'clock. Hari. Api Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. How many men do we need? Neither. It's a quarter. Up here, we have a lot of work. The kind of work. It's a quarter. We need to Vinadi cut to my
हरिपुते सुनाई काला इन्हें कहते हाथराई काला हाथराई काला हाथराई काला है कटु हाथराई काले के लिए क्या दिविनाड़ी कटु इंदौर ने तुम्हें कहा था कि हाथराई काला
ten thirty. It ten thirty. It ten thirty. It ten thirty. It's ten thirty. Mom, making homework. Don't want to play. Can I do? It's ten thirty. Mom, making homework. Don't want. Hurry. Laban sa tiyak di torlo su woman ay na ma. Mom, making homework. Don't want. Apo yan tiyak mo torlo su pet tag. Apo torlo su tiyak pet tag yung tiyak mo. अपने वेलाव देखाई किया लाकि आने इट्स टू अ क्लॉक वेलाव एकाई किया लाकि वो इट्स वन अ क्लॉक वेलाव पहाई किया लाकि वो इट्स फाइव अ क्लॉक वेलाव हाई आई नंग इट्स सिक्स अ क्लॉक वेलाव नामे आई नंग इट्स नाइन अ क्लॉक इलंग टे अपने पहाल वाई एम ने तम फिफ्टीन इतना कोटा वेला है एकाई काल आई नंग इट्स वन फिफ्टीन देकाई काल आई नंग टू फिफ्टीन तुनाई काल आई नंग थ्री फिफ्टीन दहाई काल आई नंग टेन फिफ्टीन इचे ओ मैं हाँ नुको ओ मालिया का नाम है इप्पा पुते मुकुटलिया गांडे पा मुकुटलिया गांडे ने ये लगाते आप ही क्या अंडे अंडे वेलावा हमाराई एह मतलब तं थर्टी नहीं दर आप ही हाय लगा वेद हाय टे एक दिन तमाई क्या अंडे थर्टी किया ला एकाई ती हाई नंग एकाई ती हाई नंग वन थर्टी देखाई ती हाई नंग टू थर्टी सुनाई थी हाई नाम थ्री थर्टी, हाथराई थी हाई नाम फोर थर्टी, फाहाई थी हाई नाम फाइव थर्टी, हाथाई थी हाई नाम सेवन थर्टी, मतलब दर? हाँ रे, अभी इलाके दावसे इतनों तीखा खाका करो मुझे दावस संबंध दर। हाँ ओ गलो होमवर्क कर ला मटे टीवी पे देने के वाला की बुना इधर तिहा किते आधे मानहिता ने समाहर का सामान करने निसा लमाई पहाड़ वाला कितना आडू अक्कलार सामान तो नहीं आती ना पहाड़ ये निसा पहाड़ वाला कितना आडू हाँ ओ गलो इधर कितने वाले की कलान है इधर ओ गलो दें कैपिटल लेटर सिंपल लेटर Yes, teacher. आ हाँ रे ये तो बोला कि ये दार इम्मा कुरा सर्कल हुआ ये दर इम्मा कुरा राउंड केर हुआ आप बोल दिए इम्मा कुरा राउंड केर हुआ माता का दर माता का दर आ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ये दर आ ये नूली माटे वाला ती बुना ये नूली होगा ही ये नूली माटे वाला ती बुना नहीं दे ये नूली Pencil, 
be circle. Circle. Square. Square. S U U A R E. Square. Square. Triangle. Triangle. T R I A N G L E. Triangle. 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 Rectangle. R E C T A N G L E Rectangle Rectangle Heart Heart H E A R D Hard. Hard. Oval. Oh. Oval. O B A L. Oval. Oval. Pentagon.
बावल आसन स्टोरी ये काट मुकाद दाना दे अभी बालान मुकाद दाने वो गल आहलती ये ना दर माया बोंच ये के खाता है ओ आह अन्य एक बालान मुकाद दाने नहीं तेरे पहले जहाँ तू दे दिया नहीं है सर हाँ दे दे खा दे माया बोंच ये के खाता है बालान मुकाद दे बालान ने इंग्लिश वाली मो बोलो बालान को कोह And get a good price for her. So off Jack went to sell Milky Way. As he was walking, he came across a funny looking man. Well, well, lad, where are you off to this morning? Milky White has stopped giving milk, so I'm going to the marketplace to sell her. This is your lucky day. Look what I have. They seem to be some funny looking beans. Oh, no, 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 no. These are no ordinary beans. These are magical beans. I'll tell you what. I'll give these beans to you in exchange for your cow. And why would I do something stupid like that? Because, like I told you, these are magical beans. If you plant them, by morning they will have reached the sky. <laughs> are you joking? Not at all, my lad. Take these and see what happens. Jack took the beans and walked home, thinking that his mother would be very pleased. What? You gave away the cow for these these stupid beans? I should have known better than to trust you to sell the cow. Jack's mother threw the beans out of the window. But when Jack got up the next morning, he saw an amazing sight. The beans had actually grown so high, they seemed to touch the sky. Oh my gosh, I can't believe my eyes. I wonder where this beanstalk leads to. Let me climb up and see for myself. 
Jack jumped out of his window, caught hold of the stalk, and quickly clambered up. He climbed and climbed and climbed, and finally reached a wide road that led to a big castle. There was a tall and big woman standing there, and Jack went up to her. Good morning, ma'am. Would you be so kind to give me some breakfast? Breakfast? Boy, you better get lost, or my husband will have you for breakfast. He just loves to have little boys like you on toast. Oh, ma'am, please, I beg of you. I am really, really hungry. Oh, all right. Come along. Jack went with her to the kitchen. Here is some bread and cheese. You can wash it down with some milk from that jug. And better make it quick before my husband, the ogre, comes home. Jack started gobbling down his food, but just as he was finishing, there was a stomping sound which made the house shake. The ogre's wife had to hit Jack in the oven just as the huge ogre strode in with three hearts hanging from his mouth. Here, wife, make me breakfast with a couple of these. Be five, oh, bum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my bread. Oh, you must be getting the smell of the boy who had it for dinner last night. That smell is still lingering in the kitchen. Go to your room. I will get your breakfast there. As soon as the ogre went up the room, Jack scrambled out the oven and was about to run away, but the ogre's wife stopped him. You better wait till he takes his sleep after breakfast. If he smells you, he might just make a meal of you dinner. So Jack waited for the ogre to fall asleep. When he finished his breakfast, the ogre called out to his wife. Wife, fetch me my bag of gold coins. The ogre's wife placed two big bags in front of him, and he started to count the gold coins till he fell asleep. Jack could not resist this opportunity. He quietly crept up to the ogre, picked up one of the bags of coins, and ran back to the bean store. He threw the bag and quickly climbed down. All the gold coins fell into his mother's garden, and when Jack reached down, he called out to his mother. Mother, mother, look what I have here. We can sell these coins, and our problems will be over. Oh, Jack, I hope you haven't done anything wrong. Of course not, Mother. Don't you trust your son? Jack's mother was very happy, and she and Jack lived comfortably for some time. But soon all the gold coins were gone. Jack decided to climb the beanstalk again, and once again try his luck. Early one morning, he climbed the beanstalk and went up to the road to the ogre's castle. The ogre's wife was at the door, and Jack went up to her. Oh, ma'am, would you be kind enough to give me some breakfast? I am really starving. Off with you, boy. The last time you came, my husband's bag of gold coins went missing. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you don't think I had anything to do with it. But I'll tell you what, you give me some breakfast, and I will tell you something about that bag of gold. I don't know if it's a good idea to believe you. You mean good luck? Every breakfast. Make sure you are done before my husband gets back. Jack had just finished on his breakfast when he heard the thumping steps of the ogre. Once again, the ogre's wife had been hidden in the oven. Ah, I'm hungry, wife. Broil these three oxen for me. Wait a minute. Be by both from. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my bread. Oh, stop it. You always seem to be smelling the blood of an Englishman. The ogre's wife convinced him again that there was no Englishman. After breakfast, the ogre pulled out to his wife. Wife, bring me my hen that lays the golden eggs. The wife went into the room and returned with a hen, which she placed on the table before her husband. Aha, my wonderful hen lay before Jack's astonished eyes. The hen laid a beautiful golden egg. The ogre was very happy, and soon he began to doze off. A hen that lays golden eggs? I had to have it. Mother and I will never want the hen of me, ever. Why? Jack crept up to the table and pounced on the hen and was off in a jiffy. But the hen got scared and cackled and woke the ogre up. Hey, you! Stop, you thief! But Jack was too quick to get out. Jack 
was running down the road and quickly scrambling down the beanstalk. As soon as he reached down, he rushed into the house and called out to his mother. Now, now, why are you panting so, Jack? And where did you get this hat from? Mother, you have to see this to believe it. And lie! Jack's mother could not believe what she was seeing. <laughs> Jack says lay again, and the hen lays another perfect golden egg. Oh, Jack! We will never want for anything ever again! You have proved yourself to be a good son! And so time passed. Jack and his mother sold the golden eggs and lived a happy life. However, after some time, once again, Jack wanted to climb the beanstalk and see what he could get this time. One fine morning, he set off again, reached the same road, and made his way to the ogre's castle. But this time, he knew the ogre's wife knew that he had stolen the hen that laid the golden eggs. So he hid himself behind the bush when he neared the castle. Ah! The ogre's wife is going out with her bucket to get water. Now is the right time to sneak into the castle. Jack quietly entered the castle, but this oh, time no, he did I not I he I went I and hid himself behind a large copper pot. Soon the ogre's wife came in with a bucket of water, and after some time, Jack once again felt the rumbling of the ogre's house. We buy full bum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my bread. I don't smell anything, and I did not see anyone come in. You and your imaginary smell. But well, the ogre was not convinced. I started searching in the kitchen. He looked everywhere, he and other. Jack was terrified that at any minute the ogre would find him. But just as the ogre came towards him, his wife. Now will you stop this nonsense and come have your breakfast? You won't enjoy it if it gets cold. Oh well, though, I could have sworn I smelled the blood of any Englishman. Jack heaved his sigh of relief when the ogre went away to have his breakfast. He had been saved just in the nick of time. Oh boy, I'm gonna make me so foolish again. Thank God for my lucky stars. Or I would be between the ogre's bread slices and he would be having a jack sandwich. When the ogre finished his breakfast, he called out to his wife to bring the golden harp. Oh, how beautifully the harp sang. Jack had never heard such a sweet music. As usual, the ogre soon started feeling sleepy. Then slowly crept up to the ogre and snatched the magical harp. But alas, the harp immediately stopped singing and called out, Master, Master, someone is stealing me! The ogre immediately got up, and Jack touched the harp under his arm and fled for his life. The ogre was furious and seized <laughs> his <laughs> heavy <laughs> harp and ran after Jack. Now Jack was so tiny compared to the ogre, and his steps were no match for the ogre's giant strides. Soon the ogre was getting nearer and nearer to Jack, but Jack managed to reach the beanstalk and quickly started climbing down. The ogre also started climbing up to Jack, making the beanstalk shake violently. In the meantime, Jack's mother was getting worried that she did not see him in the house and came out to the garden to look. When Jack saw her far below, he called out to her. Mother, mother, quick, bring the big axe from the garden shed. Oh dear me, Jack, what is happening? And who is that huge fellow following you? No time to explain, mother. Just go and bring the axe quickly. Jack's mother ran to the garden shed and came back with an axe. As Jack neared the ground, he quickly picked up the axe and started cutting down the beans. When he had chopped it halfway through, the beans became weak and could not bear the weight of the huge ogre. You mean the ogre is dead, dead, dead! And so came to an end. The cruel ogre and the beanstalk. Jack and his mother had all the money they wanted for the golden eggs, enjoyed the beautiful music of the golden harp, and lived happily for a long, long time.
I am five years old. Very good. Minuti. Okay. Minuti, Baba. Hey, Miss Ranumi. I am. I am. Five years old. Five years old. My name is. Ranumi. Ranumi. Ah, uh, Ranumi. Okay, I am five years old. Very good. Uh, Bihandu. Thank you. My name is Bihandu. Very good. I am five years old. Very good, darling. Very good. Uh, Vikum. Oh, my name is Vikum. My name is Vikum. Haria. My name is Vikum. I am five years old. I am five years old. Very good. Ulochana. Can you hear me, darling? Yes. Hurry up. I think I hope you and Made Nama. Sulochana. My name is Sulochana. My name is Sulochana. I am five years old. Hurry up. I am five years old. I am five years old. Old. Okay. When I come up, neither. May I ask Baba to come? Miss Andi, can I allow you to come? Miss Andi, can I allow you to come? Hari. Okay. Langge video. Tiya na ay ka vitray mat naam pay ni. अभी छोटी छोटी में छोटी राशना लिए ना आप ही ये लिया ने विभाग ये तो नहीं लिया ठीक है तब खुलांगी नहीं ला खुलांगी नहीं ला मटर पंगे और आगे खुलांगी आज हाँ यार ये खुलांगी का काम हो हाँ आप ही ऐसे प्रैक्टिस कराने होने अतः आप ही ऐसे ही वाले खाता कराने माय पेट फिश गन मापारा लिया ने ना आपी में इंग्लिश की पांती है तो गोड़ा पिया ना देवा लाडूए आपी गोड़ा पिया ना देवा लाडूए ना मोट में आपी गोड़ा देवा लेकर ना गाना माँ हर इधर आपी कतार कराने आने माय पेट फिश गाने एक रख याने ओवरलैंड ओवरलो सुरताल सात तो इधर ना गोड़ा सात तो ऐसी करना आने नहीं दे डॉग पेट Rabbit, neither parrot, uh, fish. Eva ye goda. Sab kya dikar na ani? Itinga me ye chori chori sab tu dena na. English ye ni dena karna. Ho the the. My pet fish ke la kya ani? Maage surat dal. Maadua. My pet fish. Karna ma lassan maadu ye buta ni na ma. Thank you, Ida. Ne, apo di the small way. Kaya kaya. Teacher. Oh. May Lian da the? Na na na. Aha gan hindi ko. My pet fish. Oya hindi malua. Oya malua gan tamay at katakaran ha gan ne. Ah. 
my pet Malo. fish it has been it has been kela kiyanne uta tiyenawa monada u mene tiyanne ona denda monada me tiyanne uta monada me uta tiyanne varal kela kiyanne varal neda varal tiyenawa uta it varal it eat fish food api wage maluwa kanne na ba malu monada kanne malu monada kanne tanakola kanada malu monada ne malu kanne na malu kanne a very good monada kanne fish food neda fish food api yanne malu anta vishesha kanne आ चूड़ी चूड़ी में ब्राउन कलर चूड़ी आरा में 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 मना दे ऐसे ऐसे वाली चीज़ नहीं दे मालू क्या है मत हाँ मालू कांडे इट इट फिश फूड फिश फूड फिश फूड नहीं दे आप इधर वाले मालूम थे अभी दिन का बहने मालूम को तो कराने पी ना ना वाह इट कैन स्विम इट कैन स्विम ये लगे थे
Teacher pen and Teacher the money of a pen Mag malo rasa na ida. Mag malo rasa na ida. Yan ni rasa na ida mag malo ba? Yes, teacher. Hey, kanya ni. Hari ni kan dia baru ekpa kanya ni ida. Malo ekpa kini ada. Yes, teacher. Parano ko bihendu baba ni hatsi ke lasta na.
ग्रुप एक दाल के नो होमवर्क अनिवार्य में करने दोने ऐसा कोई तमाय बाबा लाडा मंदरे पार्ट में तेरे ने पोते लास्टन का वो गोल्ड ऐंदा ला तमाय कराने प्रिंट आउट या कराने कराने पा लास्टन ने दो ऑफ के ने कार्यविधि एक हादान ने बारां दे माना बस ताकि हादरा पेट ना ने माँ वो गोल्ड लोट बारां ने पुरवां ने हादान के किया ला बाबाला में बाबाला के अत्ता कुछ वाली ये नहीं तो होता ही तें ओवरला नहीं इसको ले पाटन गया तो अत्ता केली मोवरा देखा वास है तो समय आने में शॉप में ऐसे तोड़े हैं ना आपको बालागे ना आपको कोहा महारी लिए मु ऐसे तोड़ समय को तो दुएं ने क्या तो उन्हें आना कामा के ना नैविकोम मैं फिश फूड के लिए कभी आ गया ना को बालान का सादे हुए मिले चल चल दर्पे दर्पे नहीं हो रहा है साइन के लास्ट नाइ सादे हुए मिले पहनना है ना अम्मे दी दें ही डाल रहे हैं जो फिश एफआईएसएच इट इट फिश फूड 
it can swim well hallas nay sadeo dige ko balamo bihandu ge kala kala ंद हरिलासन मट पेन अनिबाला वाक्यूनवा My pet fish. My कौन कर रहा है ना मामा? My pet fish. हाँ. ना वो क्या बोल रहा है? My कौन कर रहा है? और क्या कर रही है बेटा? आपकी और ना तीन कर रही है जब बाबा ने कहा वो one one two three. My pet fish. अगर वो तो my pet fish. My pet fish. My pet fish. 